In this video, we're going to look at using Lifter LMS with the Gravity Forms plugin. And we've used Gravity Forms here to create a custom registration form for the site. So Lifter has its own registration, but if you want to customize it uh, and have more options than just name, email, address, and phone, you can do that with Lifter LMS and Gravity Forms. You can see here where for the Yoga Mom Bootcamp, we're asking how many children uh, the, the person has and then what color is yoga mat do they want because they get a free yoga mat with the course. So Freya is checking out here. She's entering her information and she's going to register as a user on this online training site. So after entering her details, she advances to the checkout screen where she can enter her credit card number. This is using the Lifter LMS Stripe add-on to process the credit card payments. So we're going to enter that. And enroll in the course. So Freya is now enrolled in the course, and now we're going to look at another use case of using Gravity Forms in LMS. We're going to go into this lesson, and you can see here we've created a simple uh, radio button form to get feedback coming in from the students. So how easy was it to find time for yoga today? I was able to squeeze in one pose. So you can see Freya had to complete the form in order to complete that lesson. So now we're looking at the website from the WordPress administrator's perspective. And if we go look at the LMS reporting, you know, the, the teacher or the website owner, you know, wants to see how their people are doing. So this is part of the Gravity Forms integration where the, the results or the entries of the form show up in the LMS reporting. So you can see right there, here's Freya, there's the routine lesson, and there is her form entry. So, and, and you know, the teacher could even leave a note there and, uh, you know, see, see what Freya entered on her form. And if we look over at the settings here, over on integrations, you can see we've got the Lifter LMS Gravity Forms add-on installed and enabled. Um, we've got it turned on. And there's actually a couple different places where users can update their information themselves or just register on your site without buying something. So that's what all those settings are. Now let's take a look at what Gravity Forms is like. So this is the simple radio element form. So it's really simple. We could add another option here if we wanted to. So I forgot. And I'm going to make that uh, required that somebody has to answer that question. You can have a form that has some questions that are optional and some are required for in order for it to submit. So this is our user registration form that we built and you know Gravity Forms has all these different fields that you can work with and we had the Gravity Forms user registration add-on installed so that we can use this form for updating the user registration. So if this looks interesting to you head on over to the Lifter LMS website you can click on the Gravity Forms add-on Check that out. And that is uh, available by itself, but it's also part of both the bundles at Lifter LMS, which is the Infinity Bundle and the Universe Bundle. You can also get Gravity Forms through that. So that's a quick tour of Lifter LMS and Gravity Forms. Uh, you will need your own Gravity Forms product from Gravity Forms for all this to work together. And if you want to do the custom registration, you are going to need their user registration add-on. And then this product that we offer here at Lifter 
makes the magic happen of being able to use the 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 user registration in the course or membership checkout flow and require form submissions on the site in order to complete lessons and also integrate the entries into the LMS reporting. So that's it. Thanks for watching and uh, check out Lifter LMS and Gravity Forms.